Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League's Guide. My name is Saiken and today we're going to dive into the class gate for Judith, the tank bruiser. So as always we're going to look at skills, then we're going to look at consumables and equipment, the undrawn hand and finally some gameplay footage. So let's jump right into it. Judith herself is a tank and a bruiser and she excels at doing exactly that. Her passive ability makes her immune to damage from overwatch, uh, which allows her to freely move around the battlefield. And she also has five additional armor on top of whatever she is wearing. Her ultimate or signature ability is going to be challenge. Um, that comes as challenge one, later all the way upgradable to challenge three. What Challenge is doing is, in an AoE, um, 8 is quite sizable. She issues a challenge and everybody needs to attack her. Not only does uh, that taunt the enemies for one round, but Judith also gains plus 40 armor at the end, uh, until the end of her turn. In my case, running 30 armor with her as a base, that is 70 armor, so that nigh out cancels anything short of a crit and there is zero damage that is going to come in with challenge. If you do have an option to gain additional charges of that signature ability, that will mean throughout uh, the adventure that there will be multiple uh, times where she's basically truly invincible. All right, let's continue with the abilities that are most noticeable for her. So Judith hits uh, herself is not only defined by her, by her challenge signature ability, this is just the icing on the cake. Her first ability that I wanted to talk through is Fortify, which uh, places a dome, a defensive dome, for three rounds. Everyone within that dome only takes half damage, and every single attack of uh, people within that dome heal one point of stress. That is absolutely fantastic. On top of it, it clean, uh, cleanses all of the debuffs, so allows, for instance, um, enemies that are uh, allies that are uh, knocked down to stand up or cleanse other debuffs. So the fortify ability is great, specifically since the cooldown just comes up when uh, the fortification is about to run uh, off. And that ability alone allows uh, the two DPS uh, that you're potentially running with her to pretty freely act and not worry about taking too much damage. The other combination that you should be aware of is the Sticky Grenade plus a knockdown combo. Sticky Grenade in itself um, can be attached to an enemy, uh, reduces uh, the speed by 50% and any ranged attack or any uh, time this enemy attacks, uh, the grenade will actually start to explode. Plus, it will deal additional damage, double damage to be precise, to knocked down enemies. Now, you can see how that nicely combines with the second ability, Shield Bash, where she is um, pushing a target back, causing knockdown, and if she attacks a target with a sticky grenade, she gains 25 armor until the end of the turn. So one very simple mechanic is using sticky grenade and then shield bash on top of it, granting herself massive amounts of, um, of uh, armor and on top of it, knocking down an enemy, dealing damage to that enemy, and uh, she gains armor uh, just as a nice little bonus. The next ability that I want to talk through is Shield Slam in the upgraded version. Shield Slam starts here and then goes all the way to here. Uh, Judith uh, pushes, pushes back multiple enemies up to two tiles and for each enemy she hits she gains another 10 armor on top of it and recovers stress. Collisions has always caused knockdowns so you can also use Sticky Grenade plus Shield Slam and get the same nice little result. So both Shield Bash as well as Shield Slam significantly increase her armor. But that's not all, because uh, Judith has a couple of other passive abilities, where whenever she kills an enemy, she gains 15 armor, and she's immune to damage to overwatch, and has 15 armor, plus 15 armor as a base, which you can already see where all of this is going. She's just an incredible armor heavy tank. So she comes with 30 armor as a stun standard, in my case. And if you are doing the combo of Sticky Grenade into Shield Bash into Shield Slam, that is uh, 10 armor for every single person that you hit uh, with a Shield Slam and 25 armor from the Shield Bash on uh, the Sticky Grenade target. So that's 35 armor on top of it. So we're already talking 65 armor. 
and if she kills an enemy that would be going up all the way up to 80 armor so it's just crazy how much defense she can issue the one thing that uh, she needs to do is she needs to stay in the middle of the um, pack um, and challenge um, really uh, forces the enemies to attack her but if she doesn't have challenge available she just needs to make herself the best potential target that all of the enemies do have available all right so what is the right equipment you might ask uh, to synergize with judith I personally very much leaned into the whole concept of using her grenades as often as possible as well as using uh, as much armor as possible. So for starters, Judith doesn't have a self-heal, so I tend to run with one medkit because despite having so much armor, the odd crit here and there will deal damage to her. Sometimes she gets um, affected by fire, poison or whatnot, and all of that unfortunately bypasses armor so she still will take damage and in order to kind of mitigate that uh, she has a healing kit by herself i am running two frag grenades on her mainly because i do have a plethora of them uh, laying around with 75 but also they are generally cheap uh, they you find a lot of them and uh, having the ability to AOE deal damage for Judith is wonderful. She very much synergizes with a Bombardier's Brace uh, that you can get from uh, the Allies, Something most uh, specifically from ben, uh, Denny Belfort down here. Gives uh, the ability to essentially refund one AP for every grenade used. And uh, Judith uses a lot of grenades. Her sticky grenade is uh, for free. Uh, with uh, that um, accessory but also her other grenades that she finds are, are for free as well mind you um, fire bombs are considered grenades as well and would be free uh, even smoke bombs or flash bombs or uh, thunder bombs are all considered grenades in that uh, regard so uh, the bombardier's brace will always refund um, action points for that so that gives her a lot more um, uh, flexibility with her consumables so that's definitely my favorite accessory in terms of armor uh, i used to run a lot of vitality gear on her just to get her to 250 hit points and more stress that's all fine and good and there's nothing wrong with that you can definitely do that i lately um, started to experiment on just having more base armor per se and strum's garments uh, really uh, hit home for me because fire damage is reduced by 100 percent so all of uh, the mummies that explode as well as uh, the fire damage that you would elsewise take is completely ignored and she gets 15 armor on top of that as well so that's really a very nice garment uh, to uh, make her immune to one of the main sources of damage that bypasses armor so effectively creating an even tankier version of judith in terms of her weapon mod you are free to do whatever you want there are a couple of uh, cool um, options uh, here you could go for um, an armor shredding option you could um, uh, go uh, for an option that uh, deals um, more damage uh, and more speed such as the skirmish talisman uh, that definitely would work out well i uh, want to give her more crowd control capabilities uh, since uh, since she's not using her ranged attack that often and therefore gave her a more toe talisman where there is a good chance that she will inflict shock uh, meaning uh, that the enemy is uh, slowed and also increasing the damage of her pistol which is really not her main uh, option she con uh, or her main source of attack she continuously has a problem with uh, cooldowns so we need to find a way of dealing with that my way of dealing with it personally was to give her more things to do instead of just going on to cooldown reduction because um, her abilities already give her a lot of armor per se and the rotation could be sticky grenade into shield bash that leaves her with 55 armor 
uh, with uh, the uh, passive ability whenever Judith hits an enemy with a basic attack there is even a chance for more armor that in itself already nets her like 60 ish armor easily so making her invincible in the first round second round you hit two or three uh, targets with a shield slam giving her yet another 20 to 30 um, armor on top of it ironclad can proc for each of the enemies so if you rotate between shield slam and shield bash uh, together with a sticky grenade you're typically fine um, and the armor is really okay so I didn't need uh, the uh, cooldown reduction as much as I thought so what I did therefore is give her the weaver and upgraded that to all the way to level 5 and on level 5 the weaver uh, regains the action point that it uses for the skill and it's a very very strong uh, debuff because uh, targets in the area effectively have their speed halved so the one enemy that uh, she uh, can fear, which is uh, continuous shredding uh, from uh, Tidewalkers and other melee enemies or stacking of poison debuffs, uh, therefore is much less likely to even reach her as she debuffs it. I then gave her the ability um, uh, the Avenger where she not only gains maximum hit points therefore I could uh, uh, skill out of the vitality gear and instead use uh, Strum's garments but she also um, applies marked to any enemy that attacks her and finally the Comet uh, which is really just a nice passive buff uh, she doesn't have as much ammunition as others so she can self inspire but the 10% crit uh, hit chance are really why I took it in the first place not really needed you could put other things on her of course she could be one that is running around with buffing the herald comes to mind she could uh, try to reduce her cooldowns with a classical sage um, ability uh, she could uh, have uh, the great wind or uh, she once inspired from someone else uh, can receive extra AP so all of these are typically um, are typically fine but I tend with the weaver and uh, with Avenger in particular to uh, work very very well one other uh, topic could be the tyrant where uh, attackers against her are suffering extra stress so that maybe be the better um, uh, uh, better card compared to the comet uh, just punishing them even more for attacking her so that in a nutshell is her setup and it's a very strong build so let's see how she's going to play out in reality all right let's take a look at some of the combat footage so we're joining judith and her team whilst uh, she is being ambushed by six enemies and we are just trying to destroy this generator so that's a typical situation where judith can and uh, should support uh, the enemy so the build that i uh, proposed uh, will allow her to use a lot of her abilities quasi for free so what we're doing is we're starting with reducing the enemy's movement uh, via the web uh, uh, the level 5 version gives us our um, ability point uh, or action point automatically back. We are then continuing with making sure that our backline is okay. We're doing that by placing the fortified down, field people. right here. It's going to be a stationary field, cleanses everybody and reduces uh, the damage by 50% uh, that is incoming. After a short buff from one of her other teammates, uh, Judith is ready to uh, approach the enemy and basically go in. So with the remaining uh, action point, we are uh, immediately a throwing a grenade uh, over there. That will allow us uh, to regain that action point uh, thanks to the uh, Bombardier. And we are moving Judith right here. Shield bash. That shield bash allows uh, mm, uh, us to move this guy back. Uh, he moves into the another another sniper, and both of them are taken out. So in one turn, Judith uh, put a 50% damage reduction onto the entire backline. Has uh, taken out two of the enemies. Has buffed herself, and has positioned herself in a way where she can continue the combat over here. Very very impactful. 
Uh, plus, thanks to the grenade plus shield bash combination, we're now looking at 55 armor uh, that she does have, which means any of these guys are only doing fractals of damage against her. Thanks to her slow that she applied on top of it, next round she perfectly set herself up to at least hit two even, or even more enemies with her shield bash, again gaining more than 50 armor in that process and she hasn't even used her signature ability yet good back to judah's situation in the next round so both of uh, the characters moved up and you can see uh, we have them heavily debuffed so uh, judith took zero damage but is still standing here nice and uh, strong we're going to start the round this time with becoming a little bit more aggressive and the way that I would want uh, to do that is by using Shield Slam. Uh, Shield Slam is a perfect uh, opportunity to hit both of these characters here. Get me some room. You can see one is knocked down um, and the other one is pushed to the side. We have very much increased our um, armor to 50. We're following up that whole um, charade with a consumable. Frag grenades are very common and thanks to the Bombardier's Bracer they are effectively for free for her, meaning uh, she has hit every single one of them. We're continuing our Reign of Terror with her with a double shot, shocking this guy, gaining more armor and we're now in a situation where we have not only killed but taken each of these guys out. What is he going to do? He's uh, able to shoot someone with 55 armor, really? Is this uh, what, uh, uh, what he's going to do? Probably not. Uh, in terms of uh, things that we could have done with her as well is, we could have just used uh, her provoke ability, her signature ability, but four enemies are typically not strong enough to really get her down. If we wanted to make sure that they are all focusing on uh, her, that would have been uh, the play that would have gotten us easily over 70 armor and uh, the enemies would have not had a chance to injure us at all. So that's it with Judith's guide. I hope you enjoyed uh, the guide itself. Did you like her uh, build? If so, let me know what you think about her and also let me know if you uh, know about any of the uh, slight tweaks that I could have done better in order to present or build her even more optimally. Thanks for watching and see you in the next guide. Bye bye.